بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين to forgive is very important quality we all expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us and actually without having hope in forgiveness we would all become despaired there is no one who doesn't need forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran that if you expect forgiveness from me you should forgive those who have wronged you for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَلْيَعْفُوا وَلْيَصْفَحُوا أَلَا يُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ They should pardon, they should forgive. Don't they themselves like to be forgiven? If they themselves like to be forgiven, so why they don't do the same with those who have wronged them? For sure, we human beings make mistakes. Sometimes we wrong each other. Many times this may happen unintentionally. Sometimes this may happen intentionally. But we have to be able to forgive, especially those who have done things which they didn't mean. They didn't really intend to harm us or to wrong us. But even those people who have tried to create problems for us, trouble us, but we see that they are not going to be a better person if we are not forgiving them. Sometimes, for example, if I say, I'm not going to forgive you, that person may take a lesson and become a better person. That's exception. But if it's not going to have any change or any impact as a result we should forgive them by forgiving this person I am telling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah as a very a small and insignificant servant of you I have forgiven those who have done bad things to me so please you also forgive me and then this makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very pleased with us and inshallah he will forgive us Secondly, when we forgive people, then in our heart we would have no neg negativity, no kind of hatred or you know, dislike with respect to those people. So this is also good for our own psychological health. I try to be a person who is forgiving and forgetting. It is also very good for that person. Because when a person wrongs another person, he would be questioned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it would really affect him in dunya and akhirah. So if we forgive them, we are actually releasing them so that inshallah they can make progress, they can become better. It also helps cohesion of the community. If people don't forgive each other and always you know keep that in mind then gradually they speak less they visit less they interact less and step by step the community will be broken so it's very important that we try to forgive those who have wronged us and this is a very important characteristic of a moment that he can forgive those who have wronged him the only exception would be when a person would do more and more of bad things. Maybe in that case, we have to tell him that you are not forgiven, or maybe we have to talk to him, stop him by you know, asking him to stop. Uh, so that's another issue. But in most of the cases, there is no... Uh, deliberate attempt of harming us it's just by misunderstanding just by mistake just maybe 
I have, you know, misunderstood that person. He has misunderstood me. So we have to be forgiving. And inshallah, we then can expect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would also forgive us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.